right, Crumb. I'm accepting it right now. You are a sick, twisted man who likes to torture children on the weekend. What is this? We got another image that we have been given. Now, remember last week, we got this image right here. This was teasing us of the next character that we were going to receive. It said 9-12-2018. That's it. And we had this very pixely image. Later, we received this image. And then it ended up being, of course, Django Fett, which was a marquee event. And I know a lot of people weren't very happy about that. But I think it also makes sense that Django wasn't a marquee character just because of who Django is in the Star Wars universe. We didn't really see much of him in the movies. That said, we're really ready for something not marquee. And so I totally get the frustration and felt it too. All of that said, what is this? going to be we've got 920 written here hunting for the pieces and so i'm really led to believe this is going to have some kind of bounty hunter connection just because it uses that word hunting and because the whole focus seems to be bounty hunters right now so whether that means that the new character is going to be a bounty hunter or whether that means the new character is going to require bounty hunters to unlock i do not know i'm on the same page as you guys are but I think it's safe to assume a couple things with this. Number one, I think it's very safe to assume this is a tease for a new character. And number two, I believe it is very safe to assume that this is not going to be a marquee character. That's a really important bit that I want to emphasize, and it's really not speculation. If you look at one of Crumb's recent posts here on the forums here, this was just a few days ago, he said that uh, Django Fett was a marquee character. He was kind of addressing the outrage about Django Fett being marquee, which again, we totally understand. But look at this comment right here. This is really significant. He says, let me put this on a place you can see it. In the meantime, stay tuned for our next character reveal. It's not marquee okay so it's been stated unless he's just gonna lie to us and pull a 180 on us this is not going to be a marquee character and so the first thing we need to figure out is this going to be a legendary event is it going to be a hero's journey event is it going to be a new territory battles character i'm not sure i feel like it's more likely going to be legendary the reason for that is because we received so many bounty hunters to me, it makes sense with all of this bounty hunter emphasis, with all these reworks, they're pushing towards needing bounty hunters to unlock somebody. And so I really feel like this is probably a bounty hunter legendary event. And I have a specific character in mind that I think might be needed for that. It could also be that we are getting a new territory battles map, which does involve new characters coming. We know it's not gonna be a marquee character. That doesn't automatically mean legendary character. It could also mean that we're getting a new territory battles map and we have a new character in the store there, kind of like we have with Hermit Yoda and Wampa or, or you know, Rolo or uh, Colonel Stark, what have you, those, those other characters that we're unlocking in other ways. It could be something along those lines. And then, of course, the third option is it could be none of the above it could be a totally new way to unlock a character again i feel like the most likely here is going to be a legendary event in which you need bounty hunters to unlock whoever it is now if we're thinking of this from that angle there are two characters that i think are the most likely to be part of some kind of legendary event one less likely than the other we'll start with the less likely one i think this could be Kalo nord Kalo Nord is a very notorious bounty hunter. For those of you who followed uh, KOTOR, who played KOTOR, Kalo Nord, I mean, he was like, you know, nobody messes with Kalo Nord. He counts to three, you're dead. You know, this, <laughs> this guy would be really awesome to see in the game. And I think if he did come, he would be very powerful. And he's legendary worthy, in my opinion. Something with Django Fett, I think that is really important to establish. What while okay, we're done with marquee events. Who's who's done with marquee events? Raise your hand right now. I think a lot of people just raise their hands watching this video. We're tired of marquee events. I get it. I'm a hundred percent with you, my brothers. In fact, I made a whole music video about that subject because I'm so tired of marquee events. And then we got more marquee events after that video. So we're tired of marquee events, but 
Was Jango Fett really worthy of a marquee event? Remove the fact that you're tired of marquee events. Jango Fett has how many lines in the entire series of movies? He's not that visible. Even in the Clone Wars, he didn't play that significant of a role. Now, his, his role is important. He's the daddy of all the clones. I get that. But I can also appreciate when you're comparing him next to, say, a Yoda, you know, a Palpatine, R2, you know, as far as core plot characters, Thrawn is one of the main villains. I just, I don't really see Jango Fett being deserving of a legendary event. Kal Nor, does he deserve a legendary event? He does play a bigger role probably in KOTOR, but he's still not a central character either. And so I'm not sure if I would classify Kal Nord as a legendary worthy character or not. I think he's kind of borderline, but in terms of how powerful he was, he certainly was a pretty freaking legit bounty hunter that nobody wanted to mess with. So Kal Nord could be one of the uh, one of the characters possible for this now what i think is most likely however a big disclaimer i have with kalanord is thus far there's only one legendary character where you unlock the character with the same faction and so you use jedi to unlock uh grandmaster yoda all the other uh legendary characters used opposing factions to unlock or a different faction Kalinord, he's a bounty hunter. You, I really feel like we're probably going to need bounty hunters for whatever this legendary event is. So I'm not convinced that Kalinord would be it. Who does intrigue me quite a bit more. And this is, if, if I were betting, this is my personal bet, is Jabba the Hutt. Now, Jabba is not necessarily a bounty hunter. He's the crime boss, right? He's hiring the bounty hunters left and right to go do his bidding. I don't think you could consider Jabba himself a bounty hunter. You can consider him a scoundrel. You could consider him a smuggler, probably, but not necessarily a bounty hunter. But would it make sense to have bounty hunters being the faction needed to unlock the kingpin himself, the Jabba the Hutt? I think that makes a lot of sense. It's not necessarily an opposing faction, but it is a faction that I think if we're going to say Jabba is a legendary character, who would we need to unlock him? And I think bounty hunters out of all of those do make the most sense to me we already have an example of a passive character in this game in hermit yoda who is very useful and very viable could jabba the hut come to the game and be a similar kind of character obviously if you have jabba he's not going to be an attacking character i mean it's going to take like you know one minute for him to slither over to whoever and punch them in the face and effectively but jabba as the master of the bounty hunters who was hiring bounty hunters left and right to go and find Han unsuccessfully, of course, because Greedo, you know, got shot, never got a shot off. This, this is important facts. Um, so would it make sense to have Jabba say in a leadership spot, having those bounty hunters go out and do his bidding and probably give them some really crazy buffs in the process? That to me makes a ton of of sense and so my personal bet is that with this we are going to see Jabba the Hutt what do you think might be coming this is a hundred percent speculation right now has anybody been able to put together this puzzle I mean look at this I have been trying to zoom way in on these pieces and go through all the pieces and see does anything make sense anywhere I know somebody thought one of the pieces looked like Grievous's eye to me, there's just so much here, and it's so hard to unscramble. I'm really not getting much out of the puzzle itself, so I'm leaning more on the word hunter to speculate on what hunters I think could potentially be coming. But if you guys have had success scrambling this puzzle, let me know down in the comments below. What are your personal predictions? Fill up the comment section. Let me know what you think. And if you like the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It, I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, my friends. Have a good weekend and look forward to the next tease. We'll see who's coming next week in a non-marquee event. I'm holding you to that one, Crumb. I am holding you to that. All right. Have a good day, my friends. And as always, don't forget. My dead body. Sorry about the mess.